so in this part uh, we are going to see we are continue we are going to continue from where we have left in the last part so in the last part we saw about the decoders and uh, the other combinational circuits in this part we are going to discuss uh, the encoder so if i just want to define the encoder then encoder is nothing but uh, it is a combinational circuit which is, which is just opposite of the decoder so if i talk about the functionality of an uh, decoder so basically a decoder what a decoder do is uh, it uh, converts the n uh, like variables to all the 2 to the power n possible combinations whereas the encoder if you talk about the encoder then the encoder is a function which converts the 2 to the power n inputs to the n outputs okay so it is just opposite of the decoder so a decoder we define as n cross 2 to the power n whereas the encoder is 2 to the power n cross n okay so now if i write the uh, truth table for this encoder then the truth table for the encoder will look something like this so if it is uh, let's say a uh, 8 cross 3 deco encoder then we have 8 inputs and 3 outputs so 8 input and particularly in this type of encoder what we assume is that our uh, one of the input line becomes a high at a time Okay, so you can see this in the uh, this input uh, this truth table. So the input lines D zero is becoming one at this instant, whereas for this particular combination of uh, zero zero zero, all other inputs are zero. Okay, right from uh, zero to seven. Okay, one to seven. So all other inputs are zero. Similarly, for uh, any other combination, if you'll see uh, this one of the line is becoming high. Let's say for this combination, if you'll uh, see. 3 so d3 is becoming high for this and uh, whereas the other inputs lines are 0 so such a circuit in which the output gets uh, like this output is selected uh, this uh, corresponding to the 2 to the power n output lines we have n uh, 2 to the power n input lines we have the corresponding uh, this n output lines okay so uh, this is uh, n output lines and we get the all the possible combinations so this is a circuit from 2 to the power n cross n now let's say if i want to realize the circuit then how i can do it so just by uh, i mean for this particular thing if you want to write the the schema it is you can do that but it is by just simple observation also we can write because here you can see that uh, the output there are three outputs okay and for if any of the output you will consider let's say this is the output which you are considering so you can very easily uh, and why i am talking about the observation in this case because uh, means on the input side if you'll see there is only one line one input line which is becoming high at uh, time so if you'll fill up the k map also then uh, you will get uh, only one this now there is one the square uh, okay one square will get to one so you will not you will not be able to uh, do, do this the summer of this now uh, for each of this combination if you see then you will not be able to reduce it okay minimize it so just for that purpose if you just see the observation then you can see that uh, the combination for this particular combinations let's say for a okay so if you see a so a is becoming one a is becoming one for all these possible combinations okay for this four possible combinations and this four possible combinations are when d4 or d5 or d6 or d7 either of them is high okay so there are four main terms and then they will not form any group so when i'm saying that uh, they will be single ones so that is what i mean that they will this ones will not form any group with any of the any other ones so if you see this so the mean terms okay uh, the mean terms will be separate and you will not be able to combine them so they will be just odd together so in case of a if you'll see that this is what the mean term you are getting so to realize this uh, you don't have to do much and you have to just use an or gate so or gate with four inputs so this is what we have seen here, what we have done here so an encoder a decoder is realized with the help of AND gates whereas the encoder is realized with the help of OR gates okay uh, so this is what the difference is now uh, moving on to th this is a very simple circuit it's not a difficult circuit but uh, the definition for this encoder is more important for us now in this particular uh, the conventional encoder the problem is as i have told you already that uh, only one of the input line can become high Okay. Uh, but in the encoder circuit if there are multiple lines if simultaneously multiple lines become high then that circuit doesn't work properly so to incorporate that particular thing what we design is called as priority encoder 
so a priority encoder overcomes the limitation of your uh, conventional encoder in which you can uh, in this particular priority encoder you can accommodate the conditions in which the, if there are multiple if multiple inputs become high simultaneously then also you are able to encode the uh, uh, the outputs properly okay? so a priority encoder usually an encoder have uh, let's say if it is a uh, four cross two encoder so it will have four input lines and two output lines whereas in case of priority priority encoder there is one extra line okay so that extra line is basically shows you the reason to in the incorporate one extra line is that it shows you that uh, uh, whether there are like uh, multiple number of inputs if they are becoming simultaneously one then that particular line will become one okay so v is one when uh, one or more inputs are equal to one okay sometimes it is uh, like when when none of the input is one then that will be zero otherwise when either one or uh, more than one inputs are high then for all those cases v will become one okay so priority encoder uh, decides that so that is extra uh, output you decide okay and uh, why it is called priority because uh, here what we do is we put the priority on the inputs okay so if let's say the lower priority input is becoming high so then we ignore that and we just consider the higher priority uh, input okay so if the higher priority input is one then we just ignore the uh, lower priority inputs and we uh, we write the output or we design the circuit such that the higher priority input is uh, like according to the higher priority okay input so you see we give priority based on the weights so let's say there are four uh, these inputs so and these are written as d0 d1 d2 d3 so what i'm saying is this this d3 will have higher priority over d2 and d2 will have higher priority over d1 and d1 will have higher priority over 0 what does it mean it means that if uh, at a certain instant this d1 will become 1 okay and if 1 if d1 is 1 then in that case we don't consider what is coming at the d0 so whatever is coming at d0 that will be considered as don't care okay so we don't care whatever is coming out the d0 if d1 is 1 okay so that is what is meant by priority so simultaneously if d3 is 1 okay so if d3 is becoming 1 then we just ignore uh, the inputs on the other inputs okay so uh, those other inputs will become don't care in this case okay so that is why uh, we have done it like this so we don't consider that whatever is whatever is the input on the other case it is whether it is 0 or 1 we don't care for those inputs but we care for this so whatever is the uh, input on this we write the output according to this priority given to the one of the input okay so this is what the reason is so for this priority encode if you write the truth table so then it will become something like this so when all the inputs are zero then you cannot decide you cannot give any priority to any of the inputs then uh, there is no priority in this case your what will happen if it is a four cross two encoder then the outputs will be four as you can see from d0 to d3 d3 is the msp d0 is the lsp right and y1 y0 are the outputs and v is the output for your priority okay for priority case so you see in this case uh, your y1 and y0 will be you don't care if i mean in this case v0 is 0 so v0 is basically when is 0 so v0 will be 0 only for a case only for the case when all the inputs are 0 so you decide uh, this particular by looking just at the v0 so whatever is the value of uh, y0 or y1 you just don't see it that but if you see that v0 is 0 uh, once v0 is you find v0 is equal to 0 then you don't need to see y0 and y1 and you automatically decides that all the inputs are 0 in this case whereas for all other cases if you'll see whether there is one input is becoming high or there are multiple inputs uh, becoming high so in all those cases v will be 1 so once once when v is 1 then you decide about you check the outputs so if v is 1 and if both the inputs are 0 0 then you decide that d0 or the lsb is 1 okay so one is coming only on the uh, one of the in inputs but if uh, let's say for this particular case 0 1 case when y0 is becoming 1 and y y1 is 0 okay so for this case if you will see then you will find that d1 is 1 in this case okay you don't care for the other one so this can be 0 or 0 1 okay so this may be 0 or 1 you don't 
care for this thing. So overall the triple for the priority encoder look like this. Then for this priority encoder, uh, if you try to write the com uh, write the functionality and uh, uh, draw the this combine this now um, uh, logical diagram for it, so you can uh, very easily do it. So just uh, let's see the um, first the kmap for each of the outputs. So these are the outputs y1. This is the kmap for y1. This is the kmap for y0. And for v1 also you can write, but v v1 for v I have written just by observation. Obviously you can do it for by the by the help of kmap also. So if you fill up them all the entries properly, uh, considering the don't cares, okay. So if you fill them up properly, then you can see that uh, there are four inputs. So D0, D1, D2, D3. So we have filled them up accordingly, okay. And after filling them up accordingly, we um, if we combine them, we find that Y1 will be equal to D3 plus D2, okay. And Y0 is equal to this D3 plus D2 bar D1, okay. Just by looking the uh, the filling up the K map and then combining them, okay, forming the proper groups. And we will be we will be equal to d3 plus d2 or of all these inputs. Okay. Now uh, to realize to get the logical circuit diagram, we just combine them with the help of our basic and uh, the, the the desired gates which are there, and then we combine them. Okay. So this is how you realize your priority encoder. Hmm? It's so easy. It's not difficult. Once you understand the logic and uh, how to reduce the kmap, okay, how they fill the how how to fill up the entries in the kmap, then it's not difficult. It is easy to do this. So we get the priority encoder. Now let's come up uh, to the another circuit which is called as the multiplexer. Okay, so multiplexer is uh, nothing but a circuit which is also called a data selector. Okay, why it is called a data selector? Because uh, it is a it is a particular combinational circuits circuit uh, which have like multiple inputs but only one output. So what does it do? It selects one of the uh, this input lines and directs it to the output line. Okay, so there is only one output line. So uh, one of the input, okay, out of the many inputs available, one of the input will be selected and that will be directed to the output. So this is what the purpose of multiplexer is. So it multiplexes, okay, selects uh, one of the input lines and forward it to the output line. So this is what the uh, description is. So now uh, if you talk about then the input lines, the how it is, you can see that it is always the output line is uh, the number of output lines is always one. So two cross one, four cross one, okay, eight cross one. So these are the these are all uh, multiplexers. So in which one is your output line, whereas the number of input lines are uh, in the power of two. Okay, so two to the power zero, so two to the power one, two to the power two, two to the power three, like this. Okay, not two to the power zero, but it is right from the two to the power one. And this multiplexer, if you see, so that is uh, like how it is how it is able to uh, how it is able to direct the one of the uh, input to the output so we'll see that how it does so it basically do it with the we can do it with the help of a uh, selection line okay so uh, how a circuit will look like let's see so let's try to understand the two cross one marks so a two cross one marks multiplexer is nothing but a something a black box as we uh, uh, as we were already seen in our earlier cases that uh, we start with a black box so in this case also we start with a black box and we have some inputs, so there are two inputs. Okay, now that this uh, out of this two inputs, the one of the input will be selected depending upon the selection line. So let's say for this circuit, if you want to select this D0, and there is a selection line. Okay, so there are two possibilities uh, which you can uh, do on this selection line. So if there is only one selection line, there are two possibilities. Uh, there are I mean, two possibilities that the selection line can have these two values. So uh, it can have zero value or one. Okay, so S can have only two values, zero or one. So when S is equal to zero, let's say D zero is selected. Okay, and when S is equal to one, D one will be selected. Okay, so then you have to make something that this particular for S is equal to zero, D zero will uh, will be directed to the Y, and Y will be equal to D zero for S is equal to zero. And in the other case, Y will be equal to D one for s is equal to 1 so this is how what we have to make okay so the same thing which i have uh, which i have told you really we will write it into truth table so this is what you uh, see you can see that when s is equal to 0 okay your y is becoming equal to you see this inputs d0 and d1 so inputs can have any value 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 right and s your selection line so selection line is becoming 0 
in this case when your selection line is 0 d0 y is becoming y is taking the value of d0 so when uh, for this case s is equal to 0 y is equal to d0 okay you can both these cases you can see whereas in the other two cases if you see when s is equal to 1 uh, this y is getting the value of d1 okay so why uh, this d1 is 1 in both these cases it is getting this value right so this is what uh, uh, this is how we can write the truth table from our definition so once we know the definition then from that definition we can write the truth table for this multiplexer once this multiplexer is there then you can draw it uh, after this getting this uh, truth table you can write its expression so i have not shown the k map it is very simple to write by observation so the expression which you will get is something like this so d0 s bar plus d1 s okay so this particular expression if you realize then the circuit will look something like this okay so this is not a difficult circuit it is very easy circuit and we are realizing this particular expression okay and this multiplexer can be shown in various forms so this, I, this is what i have shown you so you can show it uh, directly by with the help of a black box or something like this or something like this okay so the general expression is so you can show it with the help of black box and if you want to uh, show its uh, hardware then the hardware will look like something like this now let's say four cross one marks so if you have four cross one marks then again there are four input lines so for a four cross one marks how many selection lines you will require the number of selection lines will be depend upon n okay so 2 to the power n so the number of inputs you are making is 2 to the power n so there will be uh, for 2 to the power n inputs there will be number of uh, selection lines will be n so in the earlier case uh, we have chosen uh, one n was equal to 1 okay so 2 2 cross 1 marks so n was 1 because 2 to the power 1 hmm. so that is why we have written 2 cross 1 so in that case uh, s was equal to 1 so one selection line we have chosen but here in case uh, here is here in this case as it is a 4 cross 1 marks so 4 stands for 2 to the power 2 okay so power uh, the uh, the number which is there in the power is 2 so therefore we choose two selection lines so, okay so this two selection lines if you want to choose uh, any of this input line so it can have four possibilities so that is what is written in the truth table okay same way which uh, we have done done in the last example of two cross one marks so again for let's say z when uh, when the selection line have the combination of zero zero y gets the value of d zero okay then for the other case when selection line when when this is the selection combination y is get the value of d1 okay 1 0 d2 and 1 1 d3 now if this is uh, the truth table which you have written then for this truth table you can write the logical expression very simply okay for this logical expression it's it's uh, it's, it's not difficult you can see that d0 is y will be equal to d0 when both this s0 and s1 are complement so s0 complement and s1 complement that is what i have written similarly for the others now for this circuit if you want to realize uh, can realize the circuit with the help of this so whatever the, the inputs are there d0 d1 d2 d3 you are getting and these are the selection lines so the, you can make it with the help of your end gates and uh, or gate so a general combinational circuit uh, which we have so sort of that so four cross one is uh, one marks is also uh, we design it in the same way as we've designed it two cross one marks uh, now let's try to design a 4 cross 1 marks with the help of 2 cross 1 marks. <coughs> so obviously you can uh, design the 4 cross 1 marks with the help of AND gates. But suppose you don't have AND gates. Uh, and you have just 2 cross 1 marks. And you want to realize the higher order multiplexer with the help of lower order multiplexer. So how to do it? So let's see this. Again the logic will be more or less same. Uh, but we'll try to understand with the help of this example. So in this case what we do is we choose a lower order multiplexer which we have but uh, the selection line so you see uh, let's uh, start with this selection line so if you want to realize a 4 cross 1 marks then uh, 4 is nothing but 2 to the power 2 so power is 2 so you have you should have two selection lines okay so you cannot use more than two selection lines so the number of selection lines will be 2 so two selection lines uh, what we do is we choose the lower one of the selection line the lower order sele the selection line s0 for the first level marks whereas the uh, higher order selection line for the second level multiplexer so what we do is for s is uh, for s0 is equal to 0 okay when I mean s0 can have two values 0 and 1 so for 0 either of them will be chosen okay uh, so i mean for s0 this particular 
this particular multiplexer will be chosen. Okay, whereas for S0 is equal to 1, this multiplexer will be chosen. So this path will, will be activated when S is equal to S0 is equal to 1 and this path will be activated, will get activated when S0 is equal to 0. Right? So this is what it means. Whereas when S1 is equal to 1, okay, when S1 is equal to 0, one of this path, let's say this path gets selected. Okay, so then for S1 is equal to 0, one of this path will be activated and for S1 is equal to 1, the other path will be activated. So the logic is same. So uh, how we do it? Uh, we have to force this four input lines. So four input lines uh, obviously have to be connected to multiplexer and this multiplexer have only, this is a two cross one multiplexer, okay? So we make the input lines as D0, D1 for one of the multiplexer. For the other multiplexer, we make D2 and D3. Selection lines, we have choose like this, okay, S0 and S1. For S0 is equal to one, uh, zero, this will be activated. So uh, either, either of them will get activated, okay? For, whereas for S0 is equal to 1, either of them will be activated, okay? But this path will be activated. But when S0, S1 is equal to 0, let's say. So when S1 is 0 and S0 is also 0, so this path will be activated. This path, you will get the output y is equal to this, d0, d1. So for 0, S0 is equal to 0, if you choose, so there will be four combinations. So basically, you can write this with the help of this uh, logical expression. So this logical expression, uh, you can write it d0. So y is equal to d0, s0 complement, okay, so s0 complement and s1 complement. So s0 complement and s1 complement. So you can write this expression and this expression is y is equal to d0. So you can, by this expression, you can easily see that uh, what I mean to say. So y is equal to d0, but d0 will be selected when both s0 is 0 and s1 is 0 okay so this you can see whereas d1 will be selected when s0 is equal to 1 whereas s1 will be equal to 0 so for 0 1 combination this will be activated okay so s0 can have both these values whereas s1 can also have both these values okay so you can see the combination like this and uh, the various input combinations will be this d0 d1 d2 d3 will be selected according to the selection line as per this expression right now Similarly, on the same lines, uh, you can implement uh, 8 cross 1 marks, the higher order marks with the help of lower order marks. So the same logic which we have seen there. Now, this, uh, as you can see that there are, uh, for 8 cross 1 marks, we will use 3 selection lines. So 3 selection lines, S0, S1 and S2. The higher order selection line is used for the second level, okay. And the lower order selection line is used for the lower order marks, okay. So you can see uh, at the first level. So then we can find this. So similarly, uh, we can realize uh, 8 cross 1 marks with the help of 4 cross 1 marks and 2 cross 1 marks. So uh, I have not written that uh, complete expression here, uh, but following the same rules which we have done earlier, uh, because you can see there are 3 selection lines. So for various combinations of this selection lines starting from 0, 0, 0, okay, uh, the bar of all these things. So S0 bar s1 bar s2 bar i0 okay y will be equal to this first i0 will be selected when all of them are complemented i1 will be selected for your 0 0 1 case okay so similarly you can do okay uh, so 0 0 1 so 0 0 1 is 0 0 and 1 so s0 when s0 is equal to 1 i1 will be selected i2 will be selected for 0 1 0 case so s0 is 0 uh, s s2 is 0 S1 is 1 and S0 is 0. So you write, uh, accordingly, you can write the expression and then you can see that uh, you will require this particular marks and this is how you realize. So you can see this. Now, let's try to understand a more important topic, which is how to realize a Boolean expression, any Boolean expression, any given Boolean expression with the help of a multiplexer. So how to do it? So let's say you want to realize a function, a given expression. So the expression is f x y z so there are three variables okay so uh, and this variables this mean terms are present so you want to realize this expression with the help of a multiplexer obviously you can realize with the help of this some expression with the help of basic gates with the help of decoder but you can also realize with the help of multiplexer so uh, how to do this so to understand this uh, the very first thing which we have to decide is the order of the multiplexer so how to decide the order of the multiplexer so you see 
uh, s uh, to to decide the order of the multiplexer we have to first see that uh, uh, how many variables are there so there are three variables so three variables okay will have uh, will require what three variables are there and so for three variables you will have eight possible combinations okay so 2 to the power 3 is 8 right so what we have to do is if you use a 8 cross 1 multiplexer okay so the things will be very easy you don't have to do anything but you have to realize it always with the help of a lower order one lower order so that is what is written 4 cross 1 marks if it, if, if the question would have been 8 cross 1 multi multiplexer it will be a very easy question because why it is very easy because for this particular case xyz if you will see three inputs there will be eight possible combinations so if you are choosing an 8 cross 1 marks you can use any means each of this output each of this combination as the input to the multiplexer and you can easily realize it so for this that multiplexer you don't need any selection line or sort of thing okay but here you can realize it this particular expression a three variable expression which have eight possible combinations with the help of a 4 cross 1 multiplexer why because this 4 cross 1 multiplexer will have two selection lines okay and this two selection lines you can by the help of these two selection lines you can choose uh, the four possible combinations okay uh, and this four uh, these input lines there four there are four input lines in a two cross one multiplexer so in a four cross one multiplexer there will be two selection lines and four input lines four data lines so the y will get the output will get the output the output will get the uh, this any of these inputs okay uh, you, the output can be directed you can direct any of this input to the output by the help of the selection lines so that is why this 4 cross 1 marks will be used. So how to do this? Okay, uh, how to uh, implement this function with the help of 4 cross 1 marks. So to do this, what we do is, first we make a truth table. So the truth table is very simple. We write all the input combinations. Okay, uh, like let's say it is a 3 variable combination, 3 variable uh, expression. So we'll write the, all the input combinations of these 3 variables. So right from the 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. Right? And then uh, for the output, for wherever this output is becoming 1, we write those things. So in the expression, we can see the output is becoming for 1, for 1, 2, 6 and 7. So for this 1, 2, okay, 6 and 7, we put 1 in the F line, okay, for in this F column. Then we just observe the things, okay. So by just observation, we can see that for some of the expression, there can be four possibilities only. That F will be equal to what will be equal to this I mean there are only two possibilities 0 and 1 so f can be equal to only 0 or 1 but this you can match with you can observe something with the help of uh, I mean you can observe uh, this f with respect to your z the input variables okay so here in this case we have observed we if you observe the things properly then you can magnify it okay so if I magnify it then not difficult to understand so you can see it that uh, from this observation if you'll see then you can see that for this two particular combinations, for this two particular combinations, f your output is exactly equal to your z, right? And why I'm saying this? Because out of these three inputs, you will choose two inputs as selection line. Then you will have only one input remaining. So this one input you will use as the data line. Okay. So you see there are two selection lines. So you have chosen these two inputs to this two these two inputs as your selection line. So now only one input is remaining. So now you have to reduce it because there are eight possibilities. So you have to reduce these eight possibilities to four possibilities. Okay, and this possibilities will be chosen with the help of this x y. Now, uh, whenever you write this this table to table, you will always observe this type of pattern. Okay, the LSB. If you leave the LSB, uh, the other higher order MSB except the LSBs, uh, you can group them in the twos or in the group of fours like this. So if you just see the MSB, so then you can see that the MSB is 0 for first 4 combinations and 1 for the rest 4 combinations. Whereas the middle, uh, this, uh, this uh, the variable lower than the MSB, you can see there are uh, two, uh, 2 in 2 variables for 2 vari for two combinations it is 0 and then for the other 2 it is becoming 1 and so on and so forth. Whereas for the lowest order LSB, uh, the alternate 0 and 1 is coming okay so the same pattern you will see uh, whatever number of variables are there so here in this case we have chosen z as the fun this uh, I mean, uh, the x and y as the selection line whereas the data line we have chosen as the z okay you can choose any of them 
okay a, whichever you will choose you can write it accordingly like this uh, in terms of f but uh, let's see uh, it in this case for z so what we do is in this case if you will observe f is equal to 0 and 1 so it is equal to f is equal to exactly equal to z so for these two combinations we write f is equal to z whereas for these two combinations if you will see f is equal to z bar so you see in this case z is equal to 0 for this case f is equal to 1 whereas in this case a z is equal to 1 and for this case f is equal to 0 so you can easily write f is equal to z bar okay whereas in this two cases if you will see whatever is your value of z f is always equal to 0 so you always write f is equal to 0 okay whereas in the other these two cases whatever is the value of z x uh, f is always getting value 1 so f is always equal to 1 so that is what you have said what you have done now with this particular decision if you give these inputs to the multiplexer then you will able to realize it okay this function so you see you have reduced this truth table this whatever expression was given in terms of uh, mean terms you have reduced it in in the term of uh, you have written it uh, the the uh, the truth table and uh, the there were four that there were eight possibilities so you have reduced those eight possibilities to the four possibilities okay and then this four possibilities you have realized with the help of multiplexer so that is what the logic is so then there are two uh, these inputs selection lines and then you have chosen you have uh, we what we do is we supply these inputs z z bar 0 and 1 to this this uh, data lines okay or the inputs line, input lines so this input line z0 okay d0 is getting you have connected it to 0 because x and y both are 0 0 so that is why i have written this as 0 whereas 0 1 if you will see this is 1 so that is why this 1 is there 1 0 for these two combinations you will see uh, x and y both of them are 1 0 so for 1 0 decimal equivalent i have written it as 2 1 1 okay so 3 right so that is what it is so you have fixed them then for this after fixing them up uh, we have connected this with z because f is becoming uh, f is always taking value equal to z in this case when both of this for zero combination whereas it is taking variable z bar in this case whereas variable zero a constant value zero in this case and a constant value one in this case so this is what your functional look like looks like so this is how uh, this is what the method to realize uh, any given expression any com i mean any boolean expression with the help of multiplexer let's see the same problem uh, the similar type of problem with the i mean other problem how to realize uh, let's say uh, let's see one more example okay so the example in this case we have chosen an expression with four variables so we have to realize this expression uh, with the help of multiplexer so as there are four variables so it will be very easy to realize it uh, with the help of 16 cross 1 marks because 2 to the power 4 is 16 but we won't use 16 cross 1 marks we will use 8 cross 1 marks right and in this 8 cross 1 marks uh, how many inputs you will have 4 inputs okay uh, I'm sorry 3 selection lines and 8 inputs right so you see this so these are the uh, again we will follow the same procedure so following the same procedure if you will see there are 16 rows in this particular combination so if you will write the truth table for this function so a b c d in terms of a b c d i have written and then again uh, we have chosen the lsb so this is the easiest method okay until and unless it is not specified that uh, which variable you should use as the data line it will be very easy and convenient for use to, to uh, for us to use this uh, lsb as the data line whereas the other msbs as your uh, selection lines okay uh, in the book if you'll find uh, the, uh, the examples the other type of examples uh, are also given where the data lines is not the L, just the lsb but the other lines okay you can try them out so here in this case what we have done is uh, again following the same logic uh, for this for this two combinations if you'll see a b and c uh, have the 0 0 0 values okay whereas d is becoming 0 1 so f is becoming 0 1 so f is equal to d in this case okay because you see f is equal to 0 in this case d is, d is also equal to 0 in this case and f is also equal to 0 so and in this case also d is equal to 1 and f is also equal to 1 so f is equal to d in for these two cases whereas f is also equal to d for these two cases okay whereas f is equal to d bar for these two cases right f is equal to 0 so this is how you can separate for uh, combining the uh, sum i mean forming the sum groups 
okay forming some pairs groups you can see that how f is uh, taking the value corresponding to a one of the variable as you can see f is zero for those two cases f is zero is for those two cases f is equal to d f is equal to one f is equal to one all right now following the few ones get this then you just input this to the multiplexer so inputting all this particular things to the multiplexer and making the other three lines as the selection line so abc is the selection lines and d is the variable so d and d bar you can get only two possibilities so d and d bar you have made according to this so this is for i0 this is for i0 is equal to 1 uh, sorry i1 then this is i2 then this is i3 this is i4 this is i5 this is i6 and this is i7 so this is, I, this is what i have written so you can see i6 and i7 directly combined uh, directly connected to 1 whereas i5 is connected to d i4 is connected to f0 i4 i3 is connected to 0 okay i2 uh, is connected to d bar i1 is connected to d and i0 is connected to d okay so this is what we do so this is uh, this is what the simplest uh, this is one of the way to realize a combinational circuit with the help of multiplexer right and this is uh, one of the question i am what to give you uh, you can realize it with the help of multiplexer and uh, then let me know this answer of this question in your tutorial class okay so i'll ask you this uh, the answer of this question in tutorial class so what you do is you pause the video and uh, try to solve this problem so the problem is again a four variable problem and it have like this terms 1 2 5 7 9 and 14 which are presented the output so you realize this with the help of your again same okay there are four variable so you have to realize it with the help of same which we have done here okay so 8 cross 1 marks so you realize it with the help of 8 cross 1 marks okay so the selection solution i won't show you here now let's see the another circuit which is your demultiplexer so multiplexer we have seen which directs the there are many input lines and one of the input line is selected and uh, it is directed to the output whereas the demultiplexer is just opposite of the multiplexer so in the multiplexer we have two to the power n input lines and one output line in the demultiplexer we have one input line and two to the power n output lines okay so the input is now directed to one of the output lines okay so previously there were many inputs and uh, out of those many inputs the one of the input is selected and it was directed to the output now here in this case there are multiple outputs and one input so that one input will be present on one of the output line okay so that that you will decide so that will decide with the help of demultiplexer so a demultiplexer is this is the definition of a demultiplexer it is called a data distributor okay the other name for a demultiplexer is data distributor multiplexer is a data selector so it selects one of the input line whereas the demultiplexer distributes the input to one of the output lines okay so you see if you realize the demultiplexer then the demultiplexer looks something like this and if you see uh, I, i'll just talk about it later but this circuit is matching with uh, one of the circuit which we have studied earlier okay so that circuit is uh, that that circuit i'll talk about that circuit later but this is how your demultiplexer will look like so there is one input line and that one input line that one input line will be will be directed to one of these outputs and that is possible with the help of your again selection lines so you'll select that this input line will be directed to which of the output so you select this with the help of your multiplex uh, the selection lines okay sort of so there are two selection lines and uh, because again 2 to the power this number of output lines are 4 so 2 to the power 2 so you decide that there will be power how many uh, I mean, what is the number written in the power so 2 is written in the power so there will be two selection lines okay so you see one input line is directed to one of the output lines so how to do it uh, this is what you do so when the input combinations when the selection line is 0 0 d0 okay the output d0 gets the value x okay whereas when the input uh, selection combination is 0 1 the output gets the value the input gets the value uh, the x will be directed to the d1 okay so x the d1 gets the value x whereas for this combination 1 0 d2 will get the value x whereas the other input the other outputs will be 0 at that instant okay so this is what you do now 
if you want to realize this particular truth table you, you can get this expression this particular function okay this is uh, this truth table can be realized with the help of d0 and d1 okay so you can see that there are four outputs so for each of the output if you see uh, you can write the k map for each of the output but you can because uh, the uh, the output is becoming one only for a particular one cell whereas uh, for the other cells it is becoming zero so you can write uh, this particular combination so d0 if you'll see it is b bar a bar x okay so d0 is equal to b bar a bar x right whereas d1 it will be equal to d1 if you'll see so it is b bar a x okay so b bar a x okay it is easy uh, so same thing you can implement with the help of the logical circuit once you write the expression then you can implement with the help of logical circuit now you this once you get this logical circuit then uh, you see that this logical circuit is something looks like a decoder okay but there is one difference in a decoder uh, you don't have this line x line whereas you have this this whole circuit except this x line so this is what the decoder looks like but if you include this x line then there was i mean we have considered we have discussed that case also in which this x line was present so that x line is called your enable input so a decoder with an enable input okay so you see now this whole circuit looks like a decoder with an enable input so your decoder with an enable input can work as a demultiplexer so demultiplexer is although its definition is something different but you can realize the demultiplexer with the help of the previous circuit which you have already studied and it is a decoder with an enable input okay so this was about your demultiplexer it is easy circuit okay now the same thing you can realize it uh, again a higher order demultiplexer can be realized with the help of lower order demultiplexers and in this case we will realize a designer one cross four demultiplexer using a two cross four decoder with an enable input okay so the circuit will look something like this so you try it out by your own and see that how it will look like okay but it will look something like more or less like this only okay because it is again a two cross four decoder okay and this two cross two cross four decoder as you can see that this is a two cross four decoder with an enable input so a two cross four decoder in uh, two cross four decoder with an enable input can work as a one cross four multiplexer so you can try it out okay so this is what uh, i have to discuss about the combinational circuit so with this particular thing we uh, have completed our all the slides for this combinational circuit and in the next class so this particular unit uh, we finish it here itself and uh, i am open to your doubts and problems so you can all uh, ask all those doubts in the next tutorial class and in the next class i'll discuss the new topic okay the new unit and the uh, next unit is not uh, so much lengthy as this unit was next unit is very small and probably we are, uh, we are going to complete it in one or two sessions so thank you for listening and uh, you solve these things you do it by your own and ask your questions in the tutorial class thank you